Welcome to the Night Eyes channel, in this session we will learn how to control the Siemens Inverter Synamics V20 Inverter using the Modibus protocol without using a PLC. In the IoT implementation, the inverter device is used as an action device for a computational scenario command based on an algorithm or logic on reference from input devices such as sensors or user interface controls. You can control on and off and speed settings via internet and local panel. And you can monitor speed and status of the motor via internet in almost real time. The devices used in this session are Siemens Inverter Synamics V20 single phase input and three phase output with a maximum motor load capacity of 2200 watts or 2.2 kilowatts. 12 inch mini fan three phase AC 380 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 0.08 ampere. USB to RS485 or Modibus converter adapter. Software and supporting documents used in this session are Document of Siemens Synamics V20 Inverter, Operating Instructions, Version August, 2017 Siemens Application Document, Synamics 5, Speed Control of AV20 with S7-1200, Tier Portal, via Modibus RTU, with HMI Published in November, 2014 Modibus Pole Windows 64-bit application Version 9.5.0 from WIT software The preparatory steps that need to be taken are Connect the USB Modibus converter device to the inverter device by connecting port A plus USB converter to port P plus on the inverter and port B minus the USB converter to port N minus on the inverter Connect one fan cable to the U port and the other cable to the W port of the inverter output. Connect the single phase power cable to the mains terminal connection of the inverter by L1 to line power cable, L2 or N to neutral cable and pay to earth power cable. Connect the main power source to the inverter device until it turns on. Then pay attention to the display screen instructions and function buttons on the inverter panel. Do a factory reset setting to return all parameters set to their default values or conditions by. Do a short single press the M button once. Then select the P0010 program menu and set it to a value of 30 to activate the factory reset feature. Then select the P0970 menu and set it to a value of 21. 
After pressing the OK button, the inverter will reprogram and the display shows the number 50 and a question mark indicating that all parameter set values have been returned to their initial default values. Then press the M button once briefly until the default display frequency values are 5.00 and 0.00 alternately. The next step is to do basic inverter programming for the motor which some parameters can be changed later to be adjusted to the type of motor used. Starting by doing a long single press the M button until it displays the P0100 menu options. Select the P0100 menu and set it according to the frequency of the motor used, in this session it is set to a value of 0 or 50 Hz. If using a frequency of 60 Hz then it can be set to a value of 1. Select the P0304 menu and set it according to the voltage value on the motor used, in this session using a 380 volt fan motor. Furthermore, other motor technical detail parameters can be filled later according to the implementation. In this session still use the default values without any changes. Then do a short single press the M key once for macro connection settings. Select the macro connection CN011 for the Modibus macro connection and press the OK button once until you see a minus symbol on the left side of the screen. Then short single press the M button for application macro settings as needed. In this session using macro application settings 0 or default settings. Then do a short single press the M button and the inverter will update the configuration settings. When finished it will display the P1080 menu. Completion of this basic motor programming stage by long single press the M button until the default display frequency value is 0.00 Hz. Next is the Modibus parameter setting stage for the inverter. Starts by entering the inverter configuration settings menu by short single press the M button until you see the P0970 menu display. Select the P0003 menu function by pressing the up button or down button and set it to a value of 3 for full menu setting options. Then select the P0010 function and set it to a value of 1 to activate the commissioning menu which is indicated by the indicator light green and flashing. Select the menu function P0700 and check the parameter value must be 5 for the command source control option from Modibus. Then select the P3900 menu and set it to a value of 2 to save the initial configuration of Modibus mode and once set, the system will update the inverter configuration. Select the P2010 menu and set it to a value of 6 to set the data board rate to 9600 BPS. If you want to use another board rate, you can choose based on the existing reference table. Then select the P2014 menu and set it to a value of 0 to disable the Modibus Telegram offline time or the watchdog feature. Next is the slave ID inverter setting in the P2021 menu. In this session it is set to slave ID 2.
then select the P2022 menu to set the Modi bus reply timeout as needed. In this session it is set to a value of 1000 in milliseconds or 1 second. Then activate the Modi bus protocol mode by setting the P2023 menu and setting it to a value of 2. Then select the P2034 menu and set the value to 0 for the no parity setting. Then select the P2035 menu and set it to a value of 1 according to the number of stop bits used. As a closing step, long press the M button until it returns to the initial display at a frequency value of 0.00 Hz. The next stage is testing the installation and devices used manually as follows. Press the M button and the OK button once at the same time until you see an unblinking hand icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Then press the green on button once until a black and white circle icon appears in the middle of the top side of the screen which indicates the inverter is running. If the fan does not spin, it is possible that the fan frequency is too weak. Increase the frequency value by pressing the up arrow button until the fan running. If you see an alarm notification or a black triangle icon on the top side and the A922 display, then the inverter notifies that. 1. There is a disconnected fan connection cable to the inverter. 2. The fan motor used is too weak so that the inverter cannot detect it and it is stated that no fan motor is connected. Because the fan used in this session uses a three-phase mini fan with only two wires attached to terminals U and W while terminal V is open without any load so it is considered broken, the A922 alarm notification in this session can be ignored. Turn off the fan by pressing the red off button once. Return the inverter mode from manual to modi bus control mode by pressing the M button and the OK button at the same time twice until the hand icon is not visible and only the frequency value is displayed. The last step is testing the modi bus inverter setting by communicating through the modi bus pole application. Start by opening the modi bus pole application or other modi bus applications. Then make a command to read the initial 60 parameter data from slave ID2. Trying to communicate to the inverter with the data parameter configuration that has been previously set. If all parameter settings are correct and communication to the inverter using the Modi bus protocol is successful, the parameter values of 60 data from the first address will be displayed. Fill in the column name parameter data address in accordance with the reference table on the side. Next we will test action commands such as turn on, turn off and speed adjustment via Modibus. First, we prepare a write task to execute the action command to turn on and stop the inverter output at address Modibus 99 or address 100 plc. Then give the command a name and change the data format to binary.
After that, create a task list to write speed to the Modi bus address 40100 or the PLC address 40101 with the maximum working frequency setting or 100% according to the P0100 setting, which is 50 Hz with a hexadecimal value of 0x4000 or a decimal value of 16384. Now it's time for us to prove the control of the Siemens Synamics V20 inverter via the Modibus protocol from the Modibus Pole application without using a PLC or HMI. First, we connect the inverter to the computer via the USB Modibus converter using the Modibus Pole application. Then we turn on the fan by giving data 1 in the first bit in the control word based on binary data. The fan will running at full speed of 100% or 50 Hz according to the settings in the Modibus 100 address which has a decimal value of 16384 or hexadecimal 4000. The A922 alarm notification can be ignored due to the use of a three-phase mini fan with only two wires. Now let's change the fan speed. If the entered value exceeds 16384 or above 100%, a warning notification will appear. If it is given a value of 12288 or 75%, the fan is running at a frequency of 37.5 Hz. For a speed of 50% or 25 Hz, address 100 can be set with a decimal value of 8192. Now we set the speed to 25% or 12.5 Hz with the value at address 100 with a decimal value of 4096 or hexadecimal 1000. Next we return the maximum fan speed to 100%. Now we turn off the fan through the application at the address Modibus 99 by setting the value to 0 in the first bit. Thank you for your attention. Support us to continue to share knowledge by liking and subscribing to this Night Eyes channel. See you in the next session.